YG Addy, ASAP Ant. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bassett. Let's get it. Went to Cali, man, the players albino. On the world tour for the riches like Lionel. Selling free spears on the block, that's a high note. Money can't fit in my game. All right, today we got ASAP Ant jumping off the porch with us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? Not much, feeling? gang. How you feeling? Doing all right for in Atlanta for the Merino pop-up. For know sure. Know I mean? Just trying to spread my wings, you know? Nah, for sure. That shit gonna spread out here for nah, sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Everybody named mother wearing it, so yeah. just gotta keep the uh, the groundwork, the foundation. Nah, that's yeah, real. Yeah, keep laying the foundation. Gotta keep laying bricks. Nah, bricks that's real. For sure. Nah, that's real. So how would you describe 2021, man? How would you say that year went for you? That shit was fire. Uh, I started like a pop-up tour for real. So like the San every city, like down there, every major city that that, that is for real. Like down there from, uh, started in Miami, probably ended in, uh, it was so many cities, bro. Miami, Chicago, uh, fucking Dallas, Houston, Portland, LA, San Francisco, uh, Miami, Orlando, uh, Tampa, DC, Maryland. Uh, a lot of places, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So it was good for it was getting Marino brand out there. You feel nah, what I'm that's saying? real. It was good. It was good, and it was a pop up tour. Like, it wasn't no shows during that time for us, so we was the only people really outside. You yeah. know what I mean? So people wanted to come outside even more. You know? Yeah, facts. And they had a good cause to them. exactly. That's yeah, yeah make some money and all that shit, bro. But <laughs> it's hard. like the money was gonna be there for real. You know, yeah. it's really about touching the people for real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Type shit for real. So was it a mad success, would you say? Hell yeah, it was yeah. a good success, hell yeah. That's real. That's, hell yeah, touched a lot of fans, because nowadays shit really like on the internet, bro. So I like, I'm really inspired by like 90s movements and shit like that, like 90s, early 2000s, that is, for mm. you know, like when the Rockefellers and uh, Bird of Inks, you feel what I'm saying, uh, Rough Rider, uh, Cash Money, shit like that, how they was touching the family like back in the day, people was actually doing meet and greets. Yeah. You know what I mean? For spying a CD and shit like that, you know? Cause when you touch the fans, that, that give you something to, that give them something to remember. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and then you got that bond with them then. And a lot of people be like, bro, I, I, uh, I heard your music, well, I found your shell, your Marino, your music from my friend or my man. So it's like, you know what I mean? So word of mouth shit for real, you know? Yeah. No, that's cool. Oh yeah. Word. So let's take it back to the basics, right? Yeah. How would you describe coming up out there in Baltimore? Uh, regular for real. You know what I mean? You know, you it's a regular. It's like in the other city. You know what I mean? You got your negative. You got your positive for real. You know what I mean? But to me, I always really been on my own thing for real. You know what I mean? Like always been on some fly shit for real. You know, like always seen past what Baltimore was. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I ain't never really wanted to. Uh, I wasn't really worried about being the man in my city. I was worried about being the man outside of my city. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was on for, you know? But it was cool, though. Hell yeah, you know what I mean? Regular shit, you know? Regular shit. And I ain't really had no ups and downs, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. I had my mother, you know what I mean? Straight my up. pops and shit like that, you know? So, yeah, hell yeah. So when would you say you started to engage in, like, hip-hop culture, fashion culture? When would your shit. interest start? Watching rap videos, for real. Uh, Damn, rap videos watching like fucking Money Power Respect for yeah. the locks, you feel what I'm saying? And seeing them and or seeing Fabers wearing jerseys, you feel what I'm saying? Like Cash Money niggas wearing white tees, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? When you seen Cash Money wearing the white tees in the in the Blame Blame video, you wanted to wear the white tees too, you feel what I'm saying? So, exactly, you know what I mean? So yeah, just seeing like the shit like that. Um, my brother DJ Nick, he in the hip hop, you know what mm. I mean? So like my first fucking diss song I heard was like Beanie Siegel dissing Jadakiss. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, niggas been in the culture, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, it started in the mid, like five or six years old, seven for I would say, hell yeah. That's that started with like money, power, respect, bad boy era. Yeah, yeah it started with the bad boy era for sure. Hell. That's real. Yeah. So like growing up back then, you mm. would say like, where hip hop is today with the fashion forward culture and everything, yeah. it was kind of foreign back then, but like to see it where it is now. Shit, it was formed in the 80s when niggas were rocking yeah. du Dookie chains and Adidas velour suits and Sergio and fucking um, Versace and Diaper Dan. The fashion's always been around in the hip hop. Shit started with the drug dealers because the rappers wanted to be the drug dealers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's what started back in the day for real, you know? So yeah. the shit always been around some fly shit, you know? That's why, you know what I mean? Like what you said, it's fashion fortnight. It was like, 
you got to be fly. Niggas rather you look at you fly, fly. Yeah. <laughs> than you rapping for You know what I mean? You could like, be fresher than you rap nowadays. Exactly, like. but it's kind of fuck up the aspect, yeah. though. You know what I mean, though, in a way, for real? Like, it's a gift and a curse, for real, you know? Because, like, back in the day, it was fly, but they had some shit, though. You had got, you had got to have your shit together, you know? Like, back in the day, if you say you was a rapper, nigga, the first thing would, you, a nigga would say, nigga, spit something. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Niggas ain't doing that no more. <laughs> you know true. what I mean? Like, nah, that true. shit is past that, for real, you know? So yeah. when would you say you jumped off the porch? Shit, young, young age, seven, six years old. Nigga, been outside walking to the store by myself, 25 pennies in my pocket, getting chips and shit like that. 75 cent pickles, like, niggas been outside. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I ain't never be on, like, no street shit, though, but nigga been outside past the street lights. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah, for real. So shit started out at six, seven. Nigga, I was outside. When they motherfucking put the damn no plan on the um no plan in the street sign. Yeah. <laughs> that's how that's how long I've been outside for real. You that's know what real. I'm saying? Like, yeah. So what would you say is the biggest life lesson you learned so far? Gotta keep going. Let my nigga peace say. Keep going. State to state to be great for real. You really can't worry about what niggas is doing. You gotta just worry about what you doing for. You gotta stay in your lane. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you can't look at the pot, the, uh, the negative, what niggas be saying and shit like that, you know? Or pay attention to what's the hottest thing out here, like, shit, everybody rap by little Baby, so let me try. Or I see everybody rap by Young Thug, let me do the same thing. Nah, you really gotta find yourself for real, you know what I mean? That's why I'm, I'm blessed with, like, the way I came up for real with the rap and the hip-hop and the music and the fashion and shit like that. Because I got to put my own twist on, mm, on, like, the... Um, older generation for you feel what I'm saying and, and you know what I mean like no that's idea real. is original for real, you feel what I'm saying so yeah I just give my own twist for real that's real you know type shit Facts. so piggybacking off of what you just saying like mm -hmm. a lot of days like you saying like a lot of rappers we see like try to infiltrate another rapper we hear right yeah do you feel like the rappers today lost individuality like the hell importance of yeah it? hell yeah because it's like this is like I hate using examples but you like Playboy Cardi what he made fire music and he do he he doing his own lane makeup and all that shit he do what he do for real. I got nothing wrong with that but you see like a hundred other kids following the same exact thing for real. rapping on the same exact beats for real. like my uh, my beat maker was playing some of them beats in the, in the studio I'm like yo don't be playing me on beats bro like, <laughs> I ain't rapping on these shits <laughs> like I say that shit for somebody else you know yeah. what I mean so yeah hell yeah that shit fucks it up but you do you do see uh. Yeah, people that and you know what I mean doing their own thing, but they're like they don't get the recognition for real sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they don't get the recognition for being unique. Yeah, no exactly. You know what I mean? Like people don't really see it. But I can but at the end of the day for the real no though. Cause I can't say they don't, cause people do pull come up to me at the pop up, pull up, yo, bro, you doing what you doing, your lane, bro. Keep doing what you doing. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So it's people knowing, people know, you feel what I'm saying? But it's like a secret society of people knowing. Yeah. And they like a broad audience, you feel what I'm saying, you know. That's shit. real. Yeah. So what inspires you to hop in the booth and try music out for yourself for the first time? Shit, I've been rapping. I've been rapping. My brother used to record me on Cool Addict back in the day. I made my first tape in like middle school. Passed that show for free and all that shit. Hell yeah, I've been rapping for real. You burned all the CDs yourself and everything Hell too? yeah, me and my brother. <laughs> and my boy Young Diego been rapping too. Like, I always been rapping like back in the day, like on some, on some cool shit though on some, just having a cool little 16, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I had a cool little 16 for real, and that's kind of how like, not, I ain't mean to meet Rocky or Yams on that type of time on rap. I met them on some fashion shit. Yeah. I just rap on a beat for real, and like in the kitchen, and motherfucking Rocky said, you should be a rapper, nigga. It's <laughs> history, dead ass. That's okay. hard. He said it for real, like, bro, you should rap. Like, word, like, yeah, nigga, do that shit. That is lit. You know what I mean? And after that, it was just. I'm here. You right, know you know what I'm like, saying? But I ain't want to be a rap that first. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't want to be a rap. I want to do the fashion shot. Thought about it, like, shit, hell yeah, that shit do sound good. Shit, but that was my first time rapping. Like, all them coke and white bitches, the way it go. And, like, uh, like I got a freestyle. My first ever freestyle, first ever rap. It's called Black Tape 1996. That's my first time ever being in the booth. They was well seasoned to me. You get what I'm saying for real. So I had to really play catch up for real. You feel what I'm saying? Type yeah. shit, you know. Hell yeah. It's like being on that, you on that motherfucking Chicago Bulls team. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you got fucking goddamn Michael Jordan, you got Scotty, you got Tony Kukoc, you know what I mean? You got Rodman. 
Bad be on your shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I so that. had to be on my shit for real. Facts. So at what point did you know that you felt like you made it in this shit? Dang. I still feel like I didn't make it. But for real? Not like that, but I feel I could be bigger than what I am. You know what I mean? Like, I want some shit like that. Like, I, I ain't never satisfied what I did last year. I'm satisfied with what I'm doing today. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't bragging about all, what I did last year or two years ago. You know what I mean? So I'm doing, what's, what you doing today for real? But, um, shit, I feel like I made it. Damn. Maybe last year type shit for real? Hell yeah, maybe last year. I ain't gonna lie, seeing that pop up for real, like 300 people outside. Like 300 motherfuckers yeah. outside for clothes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For me. Niggas can't even do that for a venue, for they show. I'm telling you, no yeah. cat. You know what I mean? For me. Like, for me. Like, That's damn, real. this shit crazy. So that maybe being overseas, some shit like that for real. Hell yeah, touring overseas. Like Australia, like Japan, some shit like that. Yeah. Hell yeah, word. Hell yeah. Why do you think the ASAP mob does not receive the recognition they deserve for pushing this fashion shit on a new generation? I like what you said, like, the, bro, we, the real no. The real no. At the end of the day, every time I link up with, like, an artist and a rapper, like, well, a gunner or offset, they always like, bro, y'all niggas the first doing that shit. You get what I'm saying? So a real no, but is something you need before your time. That's what happens. All that Rick Owen. That all black fucking uh, 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 what Acme Studios to what um, Supreme, all that shit, bro. Raf, everything yeah. niggas done brought that shit to light for real. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody done took the wave. You feel what I'm saying? But ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel what I'm saying? You got inspired. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, in the day, you don't want to be the nigga to be like, these niggas took for me and shit like that. Can't, ain't nobody gonna want to kick it with you. Who want to kick it with a nigga that always be like, these niggas took for me and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You just got fuck it. You the OG. I feel that. You feel what I'm saying? You the OG of this shit. That's how we feel for real. You yeah. know, like, Rocky, he the god. I was going to say, but he why, the triple OG. yo, why like, they crucify Rocky about the Air Force One shit so much when he really brought them? I want to say the lows, I'll say the mids. I would you definitely know. say the mids. You was there. Yeah. You was there. I ain't going to lie. We really brought the mids. I'll say the mids. Back. That was, was it. Yeah. It was 2013, Long Live ASAP tour. ASAP tour. We had the Nike the Nike um lady on deck. We was in LA. At Nike, ladies gave, like, Nike lady gave us nothing but mid Air Forces for real. I still got the picture on my fucking Instagram too, bro. We all got the mids on. Facts. We was rocking the mids. Facts though. Like, yeah. Like, you know, but the, you know, it is what it is, man. Yeah. People going, people going to say whatever well, was like the Yamagini High video when we all had camo and shit like that. Everybody said we was like four locals, then everybody started wearing <laughs> camo and all the girls had camo pants and different colors, but you can't yeah. even get mad at that. That's just what it is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But the reals know. And sometimes you gotta pop your shit for people to know too, you know what I'm saying? So hell yeah. That's real. But yeah, we, yeah, we, we did, yeah. We, we the ones though, for no, sure. No, for sure. Hell yeah. Why they be talking so much shit about your bath salt verse, man? I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's the, like I said, the reals gonna know cause <laughs> at the end of the day, when I perform that verse, everybody know that right. shit word by word. Yeah. That's what this shit was fucking me up sometimes though. You feel what I'm saying? Like in the beginning, cause you think about that shit, like that shit could antagonize me and fuck me up. But me and my new young Diego, he was there with me. We, did, we performed that shit in like Connecticut. This is like a year after that verse came out, nigga, what? Everybody knew lyric word for word for real, so shit like that don't even discourage me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm getting paid off this shit. Y'all laughing about it. You get what I'm saying? You know? What was your reaction when you used to see all, like, the tweets and shit? Shit, it's like, going, I ain't gonna lie, it's going to fuck you up, but you got to yeah. keep going, though, because I wouldn't be here, you know? I could have easily let that shit discourage me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, easy, bro. I could have easily, like, damn, fuck this shit. I don't want to rap no more, but I'm here. I'm doing what I'm doing for real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I, I prove all that shit. It's like being an NBA player for real. That first rookie season might be trash, but his next season, he's going to get that most improved player. They're going to get that all-star. They're going to get superstar, so... You right. Sometimes you rather start off on the um, on the bottom of the ladder, bro, than the top of the ladder. Yeah. Because everybody who come who started at the top, the niggas coming down. Yeah. I'm still climbing this motherfucker. Real spill. You get what I'm saying? These yeah. niggas falling off. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I could have wished I came up in that that SoundCloud era. That shit dead. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Why you feel they not lasting though? Because a lot of them like they having like moments. I feel like you know uh -huh. what I mean. 
is I may be like probably the music, probably not original for real. But it's kind of like a, a copy of a somebody else type shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, they're gonna have that one banger for real, but they ain't gonna they ain't gonna last, you know what I mean? Yeah. But ain't nothing wrong having a one hit though, like for real, one hit wonder. Cause at the end of the day, Get everybody paid. deserves already fifteen minutes of fame, bro. Yeah. And that and that fifteen minutes of fame could took care of your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, all that shit. So. Shit, fuck it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So where did the inspiration for Marino Infantry come from? Shit. I got I ain't wanna say gang. I want this a different name. So I just put infantry on it. But I did I've been having Marino like I was 15, 14 years old for real. That's how I met Rocky. Like yeah. I met them on some clothes and shit for real. I've been had it at that age for real. And I did a pop up in Soho for real. Like I was eight, 17 or 18 years old for real. Hell yeah. But it was, it was just basically not saying gang. You know what I mean? Because gang was so played out at that point. You don't want to keep saying gang this, gang that. Like Marino gang the clothing. That don't sound good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's real. That don't sound good at all. So yeah, that's another name. You know what I mean? That's all. And, and infantry is the most skilled per- people in the military. Yeah. Like the most skilled, they can do whatever. You know what I mean? So hell yeah, you know what I mean? Shit go hand in hand. That shit hard though, for sure. Thank you, bro. For no, real. real. Thank you. So how would you explain the lifestyle of a brand to somebody who didn't know what Marino Infantry was? It's a skate 90s hip hop inspired brand for real. You know what I mean? Like everything you think of 90s, Raekwon, Ghostface Killer getting punched in your face. <laughs> shit like that, shootouts, you feel what I'm saying? To the finest. Joy with the finest bitch at the restaurant eating at the top floor, you know what I mean? Like everything with the skate ass back in it, you know what I mean? With the Tony Hawk, with the playing video games late with your homeboys, like that type of essence, you feel what I'm saying? Like when you was young again, like that's why I want people to look at when they see my real infantry, like damn, I remember back in the day, like you know what I mean? Bring you back to them times, bro, you know? What's well, so a remember the time shit, like Michael Jackson, real yeah. talk. Oh, cat, remember the time. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be a pioneer in today's fashion scene right now? Because like I'm saying, Marino is like one of my favorite brands, right? Yeah. So how does it make you feel to be like a pioneer it, in this fashion I, forward? I you still know what I'm don't be believing I'm a fashion designer. That's what's still fucking me up. Last year really was my first like, shit, damn, I'm a fashion designer. You get what I'm saying? Like, I make clothes for a living. You get what I'm saying? Because I was not treating on some high buy shit, but it's like I've been doing it for so long. Like, it's like a fucking... You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a fucking baby to me. You know what I'm saying? That's my son. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you feel me? Yeah. It's been around forever, bro. But just to know that, damn, like, I'm one of the ones sure, that people look up to for real. Like, when they see, when they look at Coleman brands and they see uh, something that's young and hot for real, that's popping for real, and they trying to get inspired. And when they look looking for V Loan, they looking for Marino and shit like that. That shit feel good, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit feel good. And I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm a, I'm next to Virgil, RIP. Like, you know what I mean? I was even ready to ask you, you about it. Yeah. How would you describe Virgil's impact to hey, this community? Bro, a major impact, bro. That's a cool ass nigga, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my first time seeing Kanye West, he got me in the Yeezus concert and all that shit. Like, I ain't no Virgil from nothing, bro. I'm just a young kid that's met him one time because he did our tour, the first um long live ASAP tour when we wore the Air Forces. I used to hit him up for all white hats. He sent them to me with no, not all white hats, I'm sorry, uh, Don C hats, the snake skin. He used to send them bitches to me. Yo, you think I can get in a Yeezy concert here in Baltimore, get me tickets, VIP and all that shit. You get what I'm saying? He ain't know me from a hole in the wall. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know? Like, I ain't never kicking with him on some barry shit. So if he had love like that for me, just imagine the love he got for you. He knew you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. He, Cool ass nigga, bro. He co signed a Marino too, for real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real. Like, I even know he even fuck with this shit like that. You know what I mean? So, hell yeah. Like, That's he real. fuck with you, he fuck with you. He ain't, he ain't put a lot of kids in position. You know what I mean? Like, Buddy Osiris and shit like that. Hell yeah. He got a nigga, Louis Vuitton stack shit. Yeah. That's big. A black kid. He got ASAP Nass and, and Louis Vuitton too. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, hell yeah, bro. He did a lot for the culture, though. A lot. Like, he the one. Yeah. Like he, that's a fucked up. That, 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 that's a that's a that's a fucked up uh, situation. What happened to him for real? You know what I mean? God bless him. Yeah. So how important would you say it is to impact culture in your community? 
you got to, bro, because you want to be the you want to be the shit that the kids look up to. You know what I mean? Like you want to be the real superhero. You know what I mean? Type shit for you know, like, cause my city more or less it's Baltimore for us. So niggas more or less they based on um, it's more or less uh, the negative gonna grow faster than the positive. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna chant the motherfucking drug dealer rap, but they ain't gonna chant the nigga who really getting it. You know what I mean? They yeah. is, but they gonna be more like on some shit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You know. So I, I want I want to be the Kanye West of my city. I don't want to be Chief Keith or Lil Durk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want to be the common Lupe Fiasco. Like I want to be the Kanye West of my shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I want to show the kids that's from the ghettos and shit like that. You may people may look at you well. You may be like, damn, I don't feel like I fit in, but you can do what you do in your city. You feel me? You got the same impact. Hit that everybody fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? Like hell yeah, I want to be I want to be Kanye West of my city. That's how I feel about it, you know. It's a major impact. That's why I do the pop-ups, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to touch kids and shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, y'all run from Baltimore, bro. I fuck what you doing, bro. Like, yeah, Blasey, Blasey. I've been listening to your music since back in, back in the day. Even like, even like old hands walking to me in Baltimore, niggas that look like they got out of jail and shit like that. Like, I fuck with you, shorty. Keep doing your thing. That's all real. the time, bro. Like, How that make you feel, though? Good. Yeah. Cause shit, niggas like they 40 years old knowing my music. Yeah. That's a blessing. Like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like. Niggas really fucking with my shit, listen to my shit. Niggas really saying, yo, keep doing your thing, shorty. Hell yeah, shit feel good as shit, bro. So 40 year olds welcome to you, right? Yeah, 30 high. years old, like <laughs> ASAP Ant. Yeah. Like, hell yeah, bro, all the time. That's cold. All the time, bro. I be thinking, like, hey, niggas to my shit. Hell yeah, niggas really tuned in. Yeah. It's like what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So I ain't doing nothing wrong. So when like the bath saw shit, like, that shit, how can that shit phase me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so what should listeners expect from your project that's dropping next month? Shit, it's gonna be a vibe, bro. Like a real psychedelic trip, a vibe for it with some oldies in it. You feel what I'm saying? It's like taking some mushrooms and motherfucking listening to Michael Jackson and watching Batman. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that shit, that's an adventure. Real, that's a real adventure right there. That's or being real. at Coachella and being high off the mushrooms or the ass or the LSD or not even that, smoking some weed. Yeah. Or you ain't even, or you ain't gotta do that. You can just be getting high off life. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You can just be kicking the vibe and you get high like You don't even do no drugs. You feel what I'm saying? Like, one of those joints. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to give people something they can remember. You know what I mean? For uh, real. Yeah. Word. So who are some of the guests that you got on this album, man? Uh, shit. I don't know I want to say that. But shit. I got, like, Larry June on some shit for real. I got like, Currency on some shit. I got my man Key. I got Flacco on some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Hell, yeah, I'm still trying to get some more people you feel me, on it, but that's the... That's that's the full headed goats I got right now for real. So that's, yeah, real. that's that shit gonna be the whole vibe for real, bro. Shout out my dog Key, man. Yeah, nah, that's my boy. That's the geeked up monster. Man, what? That's for my sure. nigga though. You gotta love that nigga though. He the one, bro. He created a lot of styles. Yeah. He then to create a lot of styles. That's in the A for real, for sure. Hell yeah, I just seen it. I just seen it for real. Then you call him the Kevin Durant of the ASAP Mob at one yes, point. Yes, he is. That's like KD for real. Yeah, that's hard. I mean? Score thirty clip on you real quick. <laughs> no that's cat. hard. So when is Cozy Tapes 3 dropping, man? Shit, I don't even know, bro. I hope soon. Yeah. Hope motherfucking soon. Little cat. I want that shit drop as much as other people want it to drop, bro. You know what I mean? We just got to get together. You know what I mean? We got to make that shit. But every time with Flacco, though, we in this booth together, though, like, I'm the really, like, probably the only one I can get Flacco to come outside, but, yo, I'm in the studio, pull up. You know what I mean? And we going to really make songs together, too. You know what I'm saying? Ace, I was with Ace at the other day and shit like that. I just, you know what I mean? Shit. Fur, we just gotta get together though. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I feel like those cozy tapes, bro, is like the last thing we got closest to mixtapes that niggas mm, really look for. You feel me? I like that. I like, like that. Cause that was the idea we was doing for real. Facts. I like that, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. With the features and shit like that. The for features, real. Really like getting a lot anticipation of, of them shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. collaborations we, you wouldn't think would really word, happen and shit. Yeah. Like that should be hard. Like nah, we really thought that we really think that color takes unappreciated for real. like unappreciated. Like the first one and the second one for real. For real? I feel like people slept on those. Like, they okay, I, I, I'll give y'all this. I say yeah. the first one, niggas was, you could say niggas slept, yeah. but the second one, niggas kind of was like, hit for sure, what's for going sure. on. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. this shit not regular. Yeah. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I know here in Atlanta, like, to see Key and Gucci on a record together, that shit was crazy. Like, okay, niggas, niggas finally finna go. Right, you know right, right, right. That right. shit was hard. Yeah, we, we, we trying to get at it, though, but I'm always pushing the issue, though, bro. 
I'm right, the main right. one pushing the issue. Cody tapes three. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm the youngest one out the group. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, everybody getting money in different places. You got ASAP Nass overseas and Milan right now doing fashion. He and Louis Vuitton, you know, Flacco, you know, what situation for real. You got Ferg for real. He getting bro. You got ASAP Tarby. So, everybody getting money in their own states. You feel what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? We're going to eat at the table again, though. You That's hard, saying? though. The family broke up because they ain't eat at the table, so we got to eat at the table again. You know what I mean? That's we hard. can't break up. You feel me? Got to hold this shit down. How would y'all explain, how would you explain the unity of ASAP Mob to somebody who's just unfamiliar and just think y'all shit, just always beefing and shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, brotherhood. Yeah. Hell yeah, brotherhood. Brothers fight for real, you feel what I'm saying? You know? But hell yeah, brotherhood, bro. Everybody know each other since they was young as shit, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? How it's, it's before music, you feel what I'm saying? If anything, for real, you know? That's the thing about it. You you never want to make it about music. You feel what I'm saying? You want things to be before music for real. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nigga, this shit wasn't even here. We'd still be kicking it with each other. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And think about it, the money never, it never got in. You know what I mean? Like, nowhere and shit, nothing like that. You feel what I'm saying? Where niggas not chilling together. Like, you know? Like, the bond. If he beefing with each other, shit, that's a... That's whatever. Like, niggas with each other the next day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like... Niggas will say fuck you and beat each other the next day, so that shit ain't about nothing, bro. That's real. Right. Family shit for real. So, what do you think the future holds for fashion and hip hop? Shit. What do you uh, think this shit finna be in like the next five years? Whatever niggas make it, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't miss Cleo or nothing like that, so I can't <laughs> predict the future. But shit, whatever niggas make it, bro. You really can't determine nothing for real. You know what I mean? Shit. Something's going to do the 360 again because everything always come back for real. You feel me? So I be thinking that for like something going to come back again. You know what I'm saying? That was once high and you know what I mean? Reverse back in time for real. But I really don't know. That's a good question. I, mean, I ain't going to cap you down. So what's next for ASAP Ant over the next five years? Shit. Million dollar man getting some money in my pocket, trying some bits or more businesses for real. Trying to get the artists out there. You getting what I'm saying? The clover line really pushing the skate envelope to another level because I'm really trying to get a skater in the Olympics for real. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. know? Like, there's more businesses, bro, more expanding my, my brand and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I can't tell the future. You get what I'm saying? I'm just grinding what I'm doing today for real. You know what I mean? That's Let real. the rest fall in line. You know what I mean? That's real. Yeah. Any last words and shout outs? Shit. Go and get that motherfucking what? Marino Infantry Volume 1 and 2. You know what I mean? To enter the infantry, you know what I mean? Infantry war is going to get that. All my music going to stream that right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, Marino Infantry on the world tour, going to cop that brand, everything, yeah. Hell yeah. Straight like yeah. that, ASAP, and we appreciate you having me on the porch with us today, gang. Always, bro. Thanks for having me, bro. It's a blessing. I've been seeing y'all boys doing y'all things since back in the day, so it's always love. For I'm sure. always in the crib smoking weed watching y'all boys, though, bro. <laughs> appreciate it's it. to me to be in here, you feel what I'm saying, for the first time. Facts. Appreciate that, gang. Yeah. For sure. Went to Cali, man, that player's albino. On the world tour for the riches like Lionel. Selling Britney Spears on the block, that's a high note. Money can't fit in my jeans, need cargo. Gallery department.